In this video, we will demonstrate how Omron SysMac Studio and an NX machine controller can directly access a relational database without a separate computer or middleware. In this video, we have a SysMac Studio program running on an NX machine controller. We use SysMac Studio to move and use data from IoT sources and store some of this data in the NX controller database. What are we going to store in the database? We're going to move and use data from a wind turbine and an outdoor weather station. We'll show you how to easily perform insert and select operations on this database. But before we get to the database functions, we'll show you how SysMac Studio can communicate with the sources providing the data. In this demonstration, we are going to use MQTT to capture the wind turbine and weather station data. MQTT is a very popular publish subscribe messaging communication protocol for IoT devices, allowing the exchange of data via cloud services. We delve deeper into these protocols and how they interact with Omron controllers in our free course, Introduction to Omron NX and NJPLCs. You can sign up for this course at realpars.com. The link is in the video description. MQTT uses an MQTT server or broker intermediary entity that enables MQTT clients to communicate. The server collects published messages from MQTT clients and delivers the messages addressed to receivers that were subscribed. An MQTT client can work simultaneously as a publisher or a subscriber on several topics. In our example, the NX controller is an MQTT client. SysMac Studio and the NX machine controller can also speak using OPC UA, which is another mechanism for transferring information between servers and clients. Omron controllers can accomplish MQTT via SysMac Studio communication function blocks. For example, the function block MQTT client controls the connection with the MQTT server. SysMac Studio has an MQTT library with simple to use FBs to connect, ping, publish, and subscribe to an MQTT server. Okay, so far we've discussed how SysMac Studio facilitates the movement of messages but we haven't discussed the message content or format. In our SysMac Studio program, we use JSON for the data format. JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, is a very popular data format with the IoT and can be used to exchange data via MQTT. Omron has created a JSON library to convert SysMac variables to JSON string and to extract variables from a JSON string. Messages can be encoded with JSON at the source, communicated via MQTT, and decoded at the receiver using JSON. Okay, let's talk about the NX Machine Controller database and how to access and use it. Unlike most other PLCs or control systems, Omron controllers do not need any additional software, hardware, or server middleware. Connecting with an SQL database is easily accomplished. In our example, we chose MS SQL Server to interact with our controller database. As you can see, there are several possible relational database type servers to choose from. To complete the connection, we add the database server address and the database username and password. After assigning the database connection settings, the DB Connect function block allows the NX machine controller to directly access the SQL database. SQL Server Con is entered as the DB Connect name input on the function block. As we mentioned earlier, with some simple coding, the function block MQTT client controls the connection with the NX controller MQTT server. Okay. So now we've got MS SQL working with our controller database, and we've connected our MQTT server with the NX machine controller as an MQTT client. We're ready to demonstrate the program operation. Here we go. 
JSON encoded wind turbine data is being published to an MQTT server every second. The program also subscribes to a weather station. This real time JSON encoded data is updated every five minutes. The weather station data includes temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and other information. We use JSON decoder function blocks to decode the specific data from the JSON message. For example, the get temperature function block produces an external temperature value. Okay, now we insert the data into the database with DB insert. We have two tables in the database, wind turbine 1 and medio station. How can we see what's in the database? There are lots of free SQL client software applications and database administration tools available. We use dBeaver to view the two tables and the data in each of the database named turbines. Before we proceed further, if you're finding this content valuable and wish to gain a more comprehensive understanding of Omron controllers, consider signing up for our free course, Introduction to Omron NX and NJPLCs. You'll find the link in the description below. All right, now we'll perform a database query using the Sysmax Studio DB select function. With some simple coding, we select the top five temperatures from the wind turbine one table and set them in descending order. We can view the top five temps selected by clicking on the Sysmax Studio watch tab page table icon in the toolbar. We'd like to show you the DB delete feature of the Sysmax Studio DB functions. Users may want to clear old records from a database, and this can be easily accomplished with the DB delete function. In our program, we're using a normally open contact that we can operate to execute the DB delete function block action. All right, that's all we wanted to show you for now. Let's recap a few key points. Omron Sysmax Studio, working together with an NX machine controller, can directly access a relational database without a separate computer or middleware. Sysmax Studio has several DB function blocks to perform functions, such as insert, select, and delete. Sysmax Studio incorporates MQTT for communication via a comprehensive MQTT function block library. Sysmax Studio can also speak using OPC UA. Sysmax Studio also incorporates encoding and decoding JSON libraries to convert Sysmax variables to JSON string and to extract variables from a JSON string. Connecting with one of several possible relational database type servers to choose from is easily accomplished. If you want to learn more about the NX machine controllers, be sure to check out the links in the video description.